howdy, partners. Let's see where we left off. Here. <laughs> Okay. I forgot the controls in this game, so we are. Okay, that's moving. Jump is up. Okay, interesting. E. Okay, that's all we need. That's all we need. Okay. in the wrong room. We need to be We need to be in that room over there. one is a lot of fun. I went on a whole nerd rant in this one last time. What's 
wasn't I just in here? I was. So that's locked. What if I can nope, it's still locked. Okay. We were putting square pegs and holes. Open yeah, open sesame <laughs> did not work. What's this stuff? I think this killed me one. So don't go in there. Last remember you're passing out <laughs> you're passing out dealing with poop and sort of stuff. Oh! See, I should have watched my previous my previous part of this to remember what we were doing. And alas, I do not recall monster sort of stuff. Was I trying Is there a map? shit and then fell asleep briefly. <laughs> yeah, I fell asleep playing this game, not because of porn or anything, but because it was 4 a.m. Um, oh, okay. Can I? Why not? Lockdown emergency security measure is stopping Jesse from looking for trenches, missing management team, and the other sectors. Jesse sets out to enter the management sector, find the directorial override, and lift the internal lockdown. With Adi's help, Jesse reaches the maintenance sector where the internal lockdown can be. Hmm. Okay. But I need Okay. This is the So we can only be on this floor. Neat. Okay. But yeah, that dude was the janitor and he was telling me like Yeah, he was, and I feel like I'm he was telling me really important things and I was just passing out asleep at the exact same time. Okay. Let's see, it 
keeps telling me to toggle the map. I'm looking forward to, if I die, seeing how long that loading screen is, because it was unnecessarily long last time. Can we find somebody in here? screens. Yeah. Um, what is that? My name is Dr. Pierce, lead researcher of the Parakinesiology Department. I believe I've discovered a code Omega paranatural entity residing within the Bureau itself, right under our noses. Darling refused to allocate me the budget or resources, so so I'm taking matters into my own hands. Let this recording be the proof I need to convince them. The furnace can speak. It's been talking to me for some time now. Listen. Did you hear that? It's a sentient force capable of communicating. I checked, and, and there's no record of, of ever installing this furnace. I believe it. Oh, oh, sorry. What? Yes, I can feed you. Uh, what do you eat? People. I see. Uh, I'll try to find some volunteers. Oh, no. Okay. That's rough. Um... this thing ASAP. Heck yeah, we do. I finally found it. We found it. I don't like this whispering going on, but it's cool. That's not what I wanted to do. But we did it. Okay, so yes, these were the
that sound. I don't either.
unacceptable percentage. Internal pressure's pumping so fast, I'm amazed, the NSC. When the converters and coolant pumps are working again, we should be able to get this baby back down to a safe temperature. I hope. Right, um... What do you know about the Hiss? Not much. Only what I've seen. Well, they use the same tactics that Marshall and Salvador taught us, which makes me think that the Hiss haven't completely erased the people inside, which is a pretty fucking horrible thought. Or they're just using whatever they find in their victims' heads. In any case, they are really eager to get inside the power plant. Why do you think that is? Shit, I don't know. They want to make my life harder? <laughs> what do you do here, Arish? Security chief of the maintenance sector. I make sure all the weird shit down here doesn't bother the maintenance crews. Learned everything I know from Salvador. The best security agent this bureau has ever seen. And you like your job? I love it. You know, everyone thinks that maintenance is the lowest rung on the ladder just because we fix pipes instead of writing memos, but I gotta be honest. These are the bravest people in the goddamn building. I'm proud to work with them. I've done a few odd jobs with these kind of folks. They say what they mean. I like that. What exactly is the power plant? Listen, I only know what Salvador told me, but I know it generates all the electricity for the Bureau, and it's got two very simple rules. Rule one, keep it below a certain temperature. Rule two, don't ever, ever open it. Oh, and three, uh, it's classified, so I shouldn't ask. <laughs> Sounds like secrets are standard operating procedure around here. Oh, yeah, it's all part of the job. What do you know about the service weapon? Not much. That thing is director only. Salvador told me by the time he saw Trench use it. Sounds like that gun can do some serious damage. Yeah, I did see pictures of it once, though, and uh, it looks different to that thing you're carrying. You monitor something? It's new. Is new a good thing? Given the circumstances, I'd say new is our best bet. Do you know this Ati guy? <laughs> of course. He's my favorite coffee break buddy. Aww. Dude has got some crazy stories. And he probably knows more than anyone else around here. If you can make sense of what he's saying. Any idea where he's from? I'm guessing Sweden. Well, he's from where he's from. Look, there are just some stones that are better left unturned, you know? I think you... I should be going. Try to stay right. alive. You got a lock down the lift. Blockages I've seen. Have. Back. So we haven't been here before.
to see this loading screen. Right? Fun times. I like it. The costs are much shorter. Alright. Wait, done this. <laughs> Can I look at the clip? No, I can't. Ooh. Neat. All right. game. <laughs> The oldest house is a place in flux. Thresholds appear with no warning. What a threshold will contain is a question we can only answer once it manifests. The widely accepted theory is that the thresholds are dimensions vibrating on a redacted frequency different from our own. When these frequencies match, the threshold will manifest the oldest house, which acts as a redacted. Others theorize thresholds are parallel universes or possibly our own reality at a different point in time. Some believe our collection of altered materials affects the house or attracts the thresholds. We do know for certain that thresholds are not permanent. Eventually, their frequency will shift. Some believe Earth itself is just another threshold connecting to the oldest house, which is actually rooted in some other reality. This theory, while impossible to disprove, causes the redacted, and those who learn of it so is actively denied. Report to file 505-1881 for full report. Neat. Um, Tragically, there are no snacks in that one. <laughs> yeah. No snacks in the bathroom this time. Okay. That's not the- this isn't the room that I was in before. We were looking for the one with the people and then they killed me. These homies didn't come back. So I'll have to take care of them again. <laughs> Got him. There are so many of them. Oh, Jesus.
these deposits. What? Safe object of power can um, reduce a barrier using objects and materials from its immediate vicinity. See OOP case file for more details. Bureau Rangers were given permission to employ heavy weaponry against a full para utilitarian, oh, thank God, bound to its object in order to gauge the barrier's durability. Redacted and redacted velocity ammunition were tested with redacted results. Testing will continue after redacted. The safe object of power is clearly a, a viable candidate for use in combat response scenarios allowing our utilitarians to participate in altered engagements would be an advantage worth considering refer to file 8367 for full report time the title of the blocks on the screen and comment section it also scared me to death by the way that was not an okay thing to do in my opinion it was very scary
A silver toilet? Nobody's in the shelter. Okay, what's this? That's it. The other sector should be open now. I think it's time I told Emily why I'm here. I'll risk it. You two should get to know each other.
objects of power are unique in their capability to grant certain individuals paranatural abilities. We call these individuals peri-utilitarians. Um, this is control. Um, it won, I want to say Game of the Year for its sound design. I could go on for hours about it, but I won't burden you with it, those, uh, that knowledge. The potency of these abilities depends on the peri-utilitarian using the redacted. Object of power as an example, some peri-utilitarians can achieve a throw distance of redacted, while others are only capable of as little as redacted. See Dr. Darling presentation 11.15 for more information. What exactly determines an individual's paranatural competence is unknown, but it is largely believed that some redacted exists within the body and that, like all muscles, it can be exercised. To continue my analysis, I've officially requested access to the Northmore records, considering he is one of the most accomplished para-utilitarians the Bureau has ever seen. Dr. Darling is still considering this request. Refer to file 854-1982 for full report. What's the hotline? So much is expected from the director. The responsibility, the privilege to steer the Bureau into dangerous waters and safely out again. To inspire and lead its people, to protect them. The board is there to advise you, but they want things in return. You hold all this in your old, trembling hands. I had to lose everything before I could see the Bureau is the Director's life. There's no room for anything else. If the forces contained here escaped, we'd be dragged back into an age of superstition, terror, death. Assuming you think we ever really left that behind. Any emergency, any major containment breach, and the lockdown goes into effect. I implemented this security measure in my first years as director. I knew we were vulnerable. I'd personally seen the cost of sloppiness. I made sure the internal lockdown could only be lifted by a directorial override only to be used when the director is confident the sectors are safe to be opened again. This way, the director is the last line of defense. And if I screw up, it's on me and me alone. Nice. Oxygen pumped into the Oh, she might actually be in this room. Let me in. Mm, nope. Have I not been in here? More reading, let's go. Collective unconscious is defined as a form of the unconscious that is shared in all human minds. From this arises unconscious knowledge linking us through our ancestral heritage. See Jung Report, page 12-34. Through its collective unconscious- oh, through, uh, through this collective unconscious, we unknowingly attribute a series of images and archetypes to all elements of our lives. These archetypes are never fixed, but shift and change in tandem with our species and culture. This internal belief in the power of images shared by a massive population is redacted in the creation of altered items and objects of power. The sheer amount of redacted, redacted, exude is attracted to the best representation of that image, imbuing a single object with massive amounts of redacted. Theoretically, the basic power could likewise be formed by the simple power of sustained collective belief. Refer to file 541-7532 for full report. You know, I'm not sure if it's Walter White. Surely, surely not. Surely not. But I think we found some box here. More loot. Okay. Health recovery. Ooh, is it better than the one that I have on? God. 
31%. Yup, we're equipping it. Okay, weapon mods. What do we have on damage boost? Her and I'm finding loot, which is fine. It's worth it. What is my clearance level? Oh, is she in here? Oh, wait, this is the director of office, but might as well just grab this yoink. Okay, to all executive staff, I know there is some concern regarding operations exceeding the annual budget. So long as we operate within the oldest house, we are obscured from scrutiny in many respects. If our budget demands are not exorbitant to the point of drawing attention, then they will be granted by the U.S. Treasury without question. The FBC is just another line in another spreadsheet that some lily accountant won't even notice. Their eyes will skip over us as if we weren't even here. The nature of the oldest house allows us certain freedoms and how we operate. Our being here is no accident. Regards, Zachary, Trench Director of the Federal Bureau of Control. Neat. Okay. That guy has a bright window. Okay. Let's see. Oh, what is this? What's this? Okay. Looking for Emily. Wait, can I call people? Uh, centralized, I guess. Uh, maybe. Nope. No, we were just here. We should use more room. Is this more for reading? Listen, I know you can't control building shifts, but the executive level restroom has been missing for weeks now. I worked my ass off in the Islamabad station for three years. It, I've earned the right to recognize workplace shitter. If you can't bring it back, at least find out where I went. D. Rodriguez. That's rough, dude. I would hate to be able not to find the bathroom. What's this? The bathroom. Former director has a lot of confidence in the report. Central executive is just down there. Can we jump? Yup. Oh, this is that's not her. Oh, you can I open this? Nope. Is she down here? And I just missed her. They say the new director can launch objects up to 20 feet. Bullshit. We never report any distance over five. Obviously, you never read the book. Excuse me, where is she hiding? <laughs> Oh, 
So I've misplaced a whole person. Examination of paranormal topics, technological limitations of the oldest house. The oldest house imposes certain limitations on our bureau, but by far the most restrictive is the inability to use certain technological instruments. The oldest house does not allow devices that receive or emit any redacted signal. Radio waves are the only transmittable signals in the oldest house, and even those are often unreliable. If the power of collective unconscious is taken into account, it could be that certain pieces of technology are too new in the cultural redacted for the oldest house to redacted them. Similarly, these items have not been known to become receptacles for altered status. Technology may be moving too fast a pace for the redacted to occur. Modern technology tends to disappear and break here, sometimes quite violently. Redacted agents have been injured by cell phones exploding in their pockets while entering the oldest house. Refer to file 419-1935 for full report. So we need to find Emily. I have misplaced her a score reading. Did the internal That's lockdown. Cool. Let's talk, Emily. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Yes, of course. She's very loud. Listen, Listen, Emily. Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother, Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways... were gone. After that, your people came. Tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left them behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. He covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. You're a really good CGI. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her 
Polaris. As in, a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the Hiss? If she got you in here in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes, but one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. So, Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my key card. The sector elevator will take you there. Clearance level three! Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past, I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, I will come calling. Well, that was sinister. But pretty cool. Why is the clock ticking down? Ah. Ah. I heard the hiss attack the power plant. Brings up a lot of new questions. Are they communicating? Coordinating? Uh, let's travel.
Oh, we need to go to the elevator that she told us to go to. Oh, and pneumatics, right? Presidents. To whom it may concern, I am being contacted by the past presidents of the United States of America. They appear as spirit guides, giving me their wisdom. John Adams keeps saying I need to fix America, but I can't really understand him. They all have a lot of opinions. People tell me I'm imagining it, but Theodore Roosevelt showed me how to fix my lawnmower, and I don't know a thing about lawnmowers. Explain that. I had a great dead man telling me about the past and the present. If you'd like I, to use my abilities to help run the government, please let me know. I know the White House could use me. Yours in earnest, James Bartholomew. Nice. I like those ones. Let's hope to find more of those. Okay. Um, Avid readers, the Bureau Book Bunch will convene at the usual spot in the corner table of the cafeteria at 5 p.m. on Tuesday, currently discussing Unless You by J.D. Brooks. Everyone should get their reviews to me by Monday before lunch so I can generate some conversation starters before the meeting. Happy reading, Penny Bartwell. Noise. Stepping to the I knew they would. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? missiles, my guy? Don't 
do it again. They're everywhere. Ah. Get smacked by... New York Tribune. Airplanes aren't real. I figured out how they do it. The windows are TV screens. The whole thing moves on big tracks like a roller coaster that moves through underground tunnels in the earth. Airports are more like train stations. They do this because the sky is full of monsters that they don't want us to know about. The planes we see in the sky are the monsters. Are the monsters. The government made the earth train look like the monsters so they could lie to us better. Don't contact me. The flat earth theory confirmed. <laughs> She told me where this elevator was. I totally was not paying attention. event occurred at the United States Embassy in Havana, injuring the majority of diplomatic staff stationed there. Redacted deaths were reported and the outgoing information has been managed. Bureau agents arrived at the embassy on the same day as the event was reported through federal channels, but, we, but were too late to witness the AWE, which is reported to have been redacted. Staff experienced sudden intense vibrations and noise accompanied by an intense pressure in the ears. This lasted for redacted minutes. No visual phenomena was witnessed. The scene was cordoned off off and the embassy staff were transported to the continental U.S. After Formula I-9 was recited in the vicinity, a single cowboy boot began to vibrate, identify it, identifying it as an altered item. The item was contained and brought to the Bureau of for examination. See case file AI-85 for details. I already got these guys. I don't like 
like it. Okay, bye. <laughs> it said not in there and not today. Specimen. Here? But we don't have the proper facilities. Maybe we can bring an observation uh, in the containment sector. No. I'll put in a request with Poe. Oh, I need my outfits. Oh, okay. Civilian. Perfect. Resident Marshall went to the research sector to create more H for Isis with Marshall. streams that she does Cody that she does well that was really informative all right the noob also was not paying attention when she got told where this elevator was so she kind of lost um needs to go to research, that's what she needs to do, but she doesn't go to research. I'm gonna go talk to Cody again and say she wants to be again because I forgot. She told me where the elevator was and I just totally just disregarded everything she said. Oh, she's down those stairs. Control points are locations that the Bureau has identified as being vital junctions of the oldest house. When the appropriate harmonization devices are arranged around a control point in a redacted arrangement, the surrounding area will not experience any unforeseen building shifts. These control points are discovered by redacted detection of an unobstructed ping using the redacted within a 37-foot radius. Numerous researchers have attempted to define control points, calling them nerve junctures or redacted, or vulnerable spots in the oldest house. The common factor in, the, in these theories is that control points are susceptible to external influence, which allows us to stabilize the oldest house and work more confidently. Oh yeah, work more confidently. Learn to listen. Yeah, I know. I need to learn to listen. Um, theoretically, this technology could be extrapolated to stabilize the oldest house as a whole, but testing has found that certain parts of the building appears to be redacted. Refer to file seven twenty five twenty seven eighty eight for full support. Hi, Jesse. Hello. I keep finding traces of Darling, but still can't find him. Where could he be? But he's usually in his office in research or one of his labs. Dr. Darling has quite a few all around the bureau. Could be hiding in any one of them. I check myself, but I don't have access to most of them. Sounds like I touched a nerve. He didn't let you into his labs? 
Not all of them, no. Some had volatile material. That's ridiculous. I mean, this whole place this is, is volatile material. Right. Could have at least thought up a more convincing lie. I mean, how can I work without access to all the data possible? This place has a bad habit of moving around, huh? So you notice the building shifts. Did you know that 39% of bureau accidents are caused by the shifts? It's true. I ran the numbers myself. So they're dangerous. Oh, very. Yet one time, a shark got shifted into a meeting room along with over 2,000 <laughs> gallons of water. It was a tiger shark, Darling's pet research project. And forget what he was researching. How do people work here? You said you're an assistant? Oh, it's just a title. I'm a scientist, a researcher. I work for Dr. Darling. See, when bureau agents go out in the field, the sites of altered world events, we study the materials, the altered items they bring back. It's always something we've never seen before. And studying them requires new instruments, methodologies, sometimes entirely new fields of science. Emily really loves her job. See, there's no guidebook for what we do here. Everything that happens at the Bureau, including the science, is without precedent. What exactly is the Ocean View Motel? That's a bigger question than you might think. You see, I have extreme doubts that the motel is a single place. I mean, look at all the doors inside it. Where do they all go? We know that one door leads to the oldest house, but how come we can only ever open that one door? Maybe to open a door, you have to have entered through it. So if every door leads to a different dimension, plane, reality, whatever you want to call it, then I believe that the motel is firm proof that parallel universes exist. Does Darling agree with that? I haven't told him yet. I'm waiting until I can prove it. What can you tell me about control points? They're nexus points of the oldest house's unique energies. Now, I wrote a 30-page proposal hypothesizing that we could siphon energy directly from them. Darling didn't even get through the first page before he turned it down. Right. And, uh, has anyone ever used them to teleport around? What? Uh, no. What? I mean, you mean physically? No, not that I've ever heard of. Why? Well, I've been doing it all day. Because that's how they work for me. <gasps> what? Really? Oh my god. More tests. Let's hold off <laughs> on the tests until later, okay? Okay. You know, it's just... Wow. I mean, this blows my control point theories right out of the water. I love it. See you soon. Be careful out there. So you girl needs to figure out where the elevator is. She wasn't listening. She also doesn't know how to read, so that's okay. Dr. Casper Darling, head of research. Somebody thought this video would make for great internal communications. I'm looking at you, Mr. Tomasi. So, this is where the magic happens. Anyway, I I've been here for 24 years now. 
I've always been here. And, and through those years, we've made astonishing discoveries, authored studies of grave importance, and in all this work, there is one thing we know, and that's how little we truly know. Rest assured, we're committed to keep pushing the known laws and borders of reality, and to make the Bureau proud. So, welcome. Assuming you have the necessary clearance, and, and do follow the safety protocols. Read the manual. Otherwise, bad things will happen. Research sector, huh? Home of the Bureau's mad scientists.
Get him. What happened to Booker? To Smith? Why did they start acting like that? That red light got him. figure out how to get there last time. That's the opposite direction.
still need to figure out how to get to pneumatics. Bureau medical staff personally evaluated the injured embassy personnel when they arrived back in the country. While the victims reported cognitive issues, dizziness, and fatigue, further testing by Bureau medics found intense cell damage similar to that of radiation exposure. Agents and research staff remained to take soil samples from the surrounding area but found no trace of an redacted, redacted beyond the health issues of the staff. The communications department disseminated a story of foreign powers using it. Redacted, redacted on the embassy staff, resulting in various health issues that required the embassy to be evacuated. The story successfully took hold, gaining brief international attention. Um, Bureau snipers specialize in eliminating threats from distance, using the telltale searchlights affixed, affixed to their rifles to search for targets. His snipers are no less lethal. The corruption has not changed their tactics. They, they clearly prefer to maintain a good distance from the target, waiting in elevated positions for clear shot. Care should be taken in, air, in open spaces and check the balconies. I should note that their rifles are equipped with a bayonet for close quarters combat, and that his snipers are well aware of how to use it. Refer to file redacted control report. So glad that they have little knives on the end of their stuff too. Okay. No point to cleanse, I just have to run here next time. Dope. Alright, jumping. <laughs>
she is, I will throw this mail canister straight into your face. Okay. Gone. He's gone. Reminder, if you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. 1. Search the room for any altered items or objects of power. 2. Carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. 3. Wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. If there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then, reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Thank you for your attention.
morning, guys. She's in trouble. We need to reach her. <laughs> Wish I could see.
Look at me too, buddy. <laughs> yeah. California State Emergency Services Dispatcher 911. What is your emergency? Hello, hello, I'm here. Can you hear me? I can hear you, ma'am. Where are you? Uh, I'm um, inside the wires of Watson. Have you been drinking tonight? I feel like I'm stretching through the wire towards you. Don't hang up. I might go if you hang up. Um, go where, ma'am? Go. Gone away. Okay. Can you describe your surroundings? I'm really familiar. Okay. Hello, dispatcher. I should have called the number back, but it was no longer in service. That's kind of cool. <laughs> There are people. That's that's neat. The voices get out of my head. <laughs> yeah. Astral exhibition. We're going in there. systems and simplification does them no justice now the white non-space the ever-present inverted black pyramid the board all linked intrinsically tied to the oldest house tied to the director the process of choosing a director tied to all objects of power in terms of who controls them yes Yes. Cool. These guys are really talking. The Astral Exhibition was originally built for the astronauts to use as a training location, a place to grow accustomed to the sights and sounds of the astral plane before diving into the real thing. We could have done a better job with it, but redacted was being stingy with the budget. Ooh, rip. However, once we discovered the redacted, we decided to repurpose the space. Similar to how zoos hope familiar surroundings will affect the well-being of their animals, we hope to observe the redacted behavior of an environment similar to its home dimension. So far, it just breaks everything we put in with it, but Rome wasn't built in a day. Refer to file 319-3811 for full report addendum. New naming conventions have been established for the astral entity known as Astral Spike. Outdated terms in this report have been redacted. Cute. I hope y'all are just sleeping and not dead, but I think the last time I went in, they said they were aware, which is really sad. Alright, I those guys, but there was a. I can't believe they keep that thing here. I'm just 
wrap it in there. Alright, sorry for any of you who have left it. Sprint like your life depends on it, man. doing with that thing the, the answer is you don't fight a black hole you just trap it in a room someone another answer way. damn it we need backup down here marshall are you still there shit we're so close we need to hurry hypothesis was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective, but that was fast proven wrong. It, it's an actual place, not, not a construct of the mind, even though it is with our minds that we enter and experience it. But then one could argue that that's the case with all reality. We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. That is the only concrete material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions. Apart from one shocking exception. In the astral plane footage, we're always in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. We have glimpsed movement, native species, always in the distance, and yet contact was made. We don't have footage of this, a technical malfunction, but when one of our astronauts returned, a brain cloud, an astral fugue, had hitchhiked a ride in his head. It ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a relentless predator, pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to those the entity feeds on. Proper containment protocols are to be observed when dealing with it. Go to the mail room.
we... Here. Marshal, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Who is this? My name is Jesse Faden. I'm coming to help. Faden? Hold on. I'm sending the elevator for you. We need to talk. She got that right.
Fighting Man. Marshall is right down the hall. There you are. I was starting to worry. Congratulations on your appointment, Director Faden. I'm Helen Marshall, head of Bureau Operations. Zachariah is dead then, and I assume you found his gun. Just call me Jesse. Trench told me to find you. He said you could help. And he told you this through the hotline. Makes sense. None of this phases her? Really? Here's the situation. Darling created the HRAs in a lab nearby. We need more if we're gonna survive this attack. My rangers can't secure the lab alone, not against those things. We need more firepower. At least she seems to know what's going on here. She could know about Dylan. I can clear out the hiss. I'll be your firepower. That's a good answer. Is she testing me? Darling has systems in place to protect his labs. This should help you get past them. We'll talk more after you clear out the hiss. Rangers, let her through. We'll have to lock the door behind you. Sorry, but we can't risk a breach. Nope. Seen that funky mirror they're studying down the hall? I heard it steals. <laughs> The up or down? Oh, no, no, no. 
Squad C hasn't made it back. They're still out there. Only exit is back to the parakinesiology. Then there's no way we're Only option is to hold here and push them. Which one did I They're studying down the hall. It steals your soul.
Altered item number 52AE, analysis, session two. I will begin by introducing various stimuli to the item. First, a low voltage electric shock. No response. Next, I will introduce heat via a standard Bunsen burner. No response. Next, a series of solutions will be applied, each with a different value on the pH scale from 0 to 14. No response to any value. Next, I will attempt to communicate. Can you understand me? Can you understand my words? Quack, if you can understand my words. No response. This concludes session two. We'll need time to prepare further tests. This way to the lab? Okay. You must like these HRAs. Sounds like Darling built them. And most of the things around here. If Marshall can't help us with Dylan, he's our next best bet. Assuming he's not dead or taken over by the hiss. almost have it. Eventually, yeah. Okay. We did it! Okay, cool. So glad that wasn't during you a- You let me hear. Any idea how to make it work? It's over here, reading. Black rock prisms are unique formations of black rock, distinct in both their shape and potency. While the density of black rock dampens their natural forces, the unique redacted structure of prisms retain frequencies in the range redacted to redacted hertz with perfect redacted harmonization. The report analyzes the results of focusing a redacted through a harmonized prism onto a redacted methods for the imprinting of non-physical fields onto redacted Imbuing redacted in the prism will be explored and explained. Refer to file redacted control report. This 
necklace was unique in that they are concentrated manifestations in his resonance without the need of a host. His clusters are dense spherical compressions of his resonance that serve support functions in the hierarchy of his entities. The clusters are capable of replenishing his host with infusions of resonance. This does not heal any physical damage inflicted on the organic host, but rather it seems to rejuvenate them, allowing them to endure more bodily harm than normally possible. The fact that the hiss makes an effort to preserve its corrupted host underlines a level of awareness and discretion that was previously just speculation on my part. Can this entity be considered an individual or simply an extension of the hiss as a whole? Capturing one alive would be quite interesting. Interesting refer to file redacted for full report. So, oh, another hiss orb. I don't really care to read this, sorry. I should read it. The hiss warp will only pair natural abilities similar to drifters. They are able to telekinetically shield themselves with nearby material and launch objects if they're targeted, but these entities are particularly destructive and difficult to kill, possibly indicating a greater internal reinforcement of his resonance. Why do his display why do certain his display pair natural abilities while others lamb bureau of firearms? Do certain corrupted entities have less potential than the hosts that become his warped, or is this perhaps an indication of evolution or maturation of the his Corruption. Are there other stages of evolution yet to be found? What if the hiss inhabits a host for a month, a year? Do hosts expire after a certain amount of time? Does the corruption become too strong for an organic body to endure? Only time and well-documented observation will tell. Refer to file redacted for full report. Now... Hello again, Director. It appears we have a new problem. We need to get the HRA machine working. I've replaced a couple of spark plugs, but this looks a bit more complicated. Darling must have had a system. Randomness isn't in his nature. The punch cards, the symbols, the terminals. How do they connect? I'll see what I can do. We need to find all the punch cards. Yes, thank you. It has to be in that room, surely. Have you checked the upper floor? Oh, see, I thought, I thought, and then I second guessed. Okay, thanks. Oh, they have numbers on them. That one's right. Ooh. 
These whiteboard drawings may be important. They might be, but these have numbers on them right now. Give me that one. What number are you for? It looks like he was working on something to do with these symbols. Symbols mean. Oh, I thought I was a genius for a second. You know, girl, I don't know. What do these whiteboards mean? A good puzzle. Not gonna, oh wait, hold on. Mm. 
prism shattered. Darling's prototypes have a lot of issues. We need a new plan. We need more black rock prisms to make this machine work. Darling has another lab down in the black rock processing site and maintenance. That must be where he keeps the prisms. I've been to maintenance already. I can find my way. But how long will that take? Nothing here is simple. I need to ask her now, before I go. I need something from you first. What do you know about Dylan Faden? I knew this was coming. Lives are at stake here, and we need this machine working to save those lives. Once that is done, Director Faden, then we can talk. She's right. As much as I don't want to admit it, I'm the only one who can help. Fine. I'll get the prisms first. Dylan will have to wait just a little longer. But don't call me Director. Jesse is fine. I'll call you Fate. Here, you'll need this keycard. Thanks. Emily there Pope has set up a base and executive. Once I have the prism, I'll meet you there. Right. I'll move out immediately. And keep an eye out for Darling. Finding him might be the key to stopping the hiss. It's just one large scale HRA. It's there now. We are about to be exposed to a different kind of resonance. Hostile, viral, invasive resonance. I think that's, that's what the Hedron resonance amplifiers are for. Taking the protection Hedron can provide us and keeping us from being wiped out. Here, this will lead back to Central Research. serves them as, as an introductory guide to the astronaut program, including candidate requirements, training practices, and astral research procedures. Astronauts are chosen individuals who explore the document, explore and document the astral plane by making physical contact the X-ray light box C case file 00P18 for details. In the hypnosis lab, a section of the parapsychology division, physical and psychological training is vital for the repeated transition between planes known as dives. After each dive, astronauts must undergo a redacted session in the cognitive recording chairs to record their experience in the plane. Gathered data has conclusively proven that redacted redacted within the astral plane vary widely between astronauts. On rare occasions, these dives can result in losses, often occurring when teams encounter aggressive astral entities. Refer to file 829-1838 for full report.
Marshall knows something about Dylan. Is he here? Is he all right? HRAs first. They'll help save everyone, including Dylan. Once I find him. Can you keep him safe? Like you do with me?
Next game is Wednesday at 8, usual spot. Hazard owes me $20. Irish oh, still on a fucking win streak, so I'm pleased to figure out how he's cheating. Thompson suspended for game because of <laughs> that shady dealing incident. Guy, I owe you a 60 bucks. Um, I brought beers last time, so it's Epstein, Epstein Stall's turn. Remus. supposed to be able to get in there. We... It doesn't make any sense. Just read this. Welcome to the Ranger Field Training Course. The course must be completed in the specified amount of time. When you're ready to start, press the button. Is that all, or...? I always did love obstacle courses. Get ready, Ranger. Course starting in five, four, three, two, one. Go. seconds remaining.
seconds remaining. Fifteen seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Course failed. Try again, Ranger. Ranger again. Get ready, Ranger. Course starting in five, four, three, two. One. Failed. Yeah, we're gonna do it again. Somehow in high stress situations, I just do worse. Get ready, Let Ranger. Course starting in five, four, three, two, one. Uh... Go. seconds remaining. Easy. What? Five seconds remaining. What? What did I miss? Force failed. What? Try again, Ranger. Fuck you, awkward voice recording. What did I miss? Get ready, Ranger. Horse starting in five. Four. Three, two, one. Uh, go. Sixty seconds remaining. seconds for me. Thank you. 
16 seconds remaining. Oh, that makes so much sense. Okay. Guessing this isn't usually part of the course. It's protecting itself. We need to hit it hard to break the chain. I think that's where we're gonna leave it for tonight <sighs> all right homies thank you so much for hanging out tonight i really appreciate it um if you want to see more i've got more on my youtube channel um you know socials are on the top um thanks for hanging out really appreciate it and i'll see you guys next time all right boop <laughs>